This is my video I put together for our Phoenix Rendezvous. It starts off with my Finney flight at Atlas Air, taking the Cougars from El Paso to Spokane, and my last official FFDO, Federal Flight Deck Officer uh, flight, before I have to turn my gun in. We all met up in Spokane with the family members, took a bunch of pictures, then we loaded up into the Cessna P210 and we flew down to Phoenix. Phoenix. We had all the family members except for Tim with us, the dogs, Irene, the sea bear, and Jean, and we flew down to Phoenix to meet up with my Loringites. Ed and Lori and Jack and Cindy and eventually also Jesse and Cindy. There are pictures from uh, previous flights with uh, Jack in the P210 and in and around Phoenix, Phoenix area. We also went down to the, the Phoenix Zoo and the girls went to the Music Museum and we enjoyed a lot of uh, walking around Old Town Scottsdale and the surrounding area. And, and Tim and Irene went to the Blackhawks game. Bears on the camel and and the also they went to climb Camelback. I did bear. Well, it was Irene didn't go, but Jack Sinkay, uh, Tim's friend, Pat, went to climb Camelback and were much worse for wear afterwards. And then Irene, Pat, and Tim went to the game, the football game in Phoenix. The Blackhawks versus the Coyotes football game was joined by Pat Rogers, Irene, and Tim won on that. Irene had and Jean went to the music museum and the sea bear had a great time there. We also had a great time eating at the different restaurants down in the Scottsdale area. The hotel was also really super that we stayed at. Ed got a big party room suite, but unfortunately it was so cold outside we didn't get to spend much time out on the deck. The big surprise came when we went to Buca de Beppo that night and my old Loringites, Ed Ryan and Jackson K showed up. What a shock that was, you know. I was wondering why there was extra menus on the table and the seats set up. And uh, I was totally shocked that uh, these guys cared so much and they came down and met with me on my retirement. I admired Jack's $3 hat and quickly scarfed it up. So while we were around the hotel, the Scottsdale area, uh, we went to a number of restaurants and uh, uh, Jack, you know, uh, picked up a lot of the bills and uh, I was really shocked and uh, really appreciate that and made this uh, really, really enjoyable. Uh, we got to meet uh, Lori and uh, Jack's uh, Cindy and you can see us around the different tables, you know, uh, uh, wolfing down the great Italian food, and Mexican food, and uh, so on. So we really, really enjoyed that. Too bad we didn't get to spend much time out on Ed's uh, deck, you know, although we did manage to play some cards, played some hearts. Uh, we drank a, a bunch of Ed's uh, wine and a bunch of uh, little snacks he uh, brought into his room. Jasper and Rollo uh, really enjoyed it also, being able to be service dogs and uh, accompanying us to most of the places, particularly their breakfast place in the morning. And Jack uh, gave us uh, some valuable tips on how to uh, uh, get the most for your money out of these uh, breakfast restaurants. On a side note, Ed was able to go down to the Frank 
Lloyd Wright house and took a bunch of pictures of that. I just included one here. And also a Lego building of, uh, of the whole site. So these are some pictures I took when we were at Loring and I scanned them into the computer just to include some of our younger day pictures. pictures. And our favorite AOL car that we had in Europe. Uh, Jack's article I wrote about his T-37 flying, my favorite pictures of Ed and the uh, guts flying he did out of Daha Ron, and some of the articles about Ed's running uh, time. And some uh, pictures of uh, me and the T-37 and uh, Jack up at Loring and the 135 and, and the T-38, which will also, uh, when we walk around the Davis Monthan Museum area, We'll see if we can find some tail numbers that we actually flew. Yeah, we flew. And I also wanted to include the picture of Laurie and Ed on our uh, tour of Italy. And they're in front of the Vatican. That was really cool. Yeah. On our trip down to Tucson, it was Ed, uh, Laurie, uh, and Jack and I. We went down there to uh, visit the museum right outside of Davis Mountain and uh, take a look at the old airplanes and uh, reminisce about the planes we flew. And also Ed actually got a chance to uh, fly in many years. He's never, uh, you know, operated any kind of an airplane other than just riding them. He actually had some uh, pretty cool stories about Ecuador and uh, flying the C-12 in the past, and that was really nice that he got a chance to fly. Myself, Ed, Laurie, and Jack got into the airplane and we flew down to Tucson to the Pima Air Museum right across from Davis Mountain and we had a chance to look at uh, some of the old airplanes that we might have flown while we we're down there. I added a few more pictures that I uh, included in this series that I didn't have a chance to take while we we're down there, particularly of the tanker row. There must be hundreds of tankers down there and uh, we had a good time flying down there. Uh, Ed was navigating basically down there and on. Uh, and on the way back, we uh, uh, flew at night, and he uh, actually got some hands-on flying. I told him to follow, follow that airplane ahead of us, and he did, and he did a successful landing and uh, everything, really nice. Uh, good job there, Ed. So when we were showing Lori the planes that we flew, T-37, uh, where Jack and Ed flew, out of Loring and the T-38. Jack was explaining one of his flights in the T-38 where he went straight up and uh, you know, did a roll or fast roll around and on a solo flight and he didn't end up uh, scaring himself too bad and he pretended to be a Thunderbird lead pilot there and that was an interesting story last few pictures of us before we got on the plane in Tucson and headed back up to Phoenix and Ed's a fantastic job of uh, following the plane ahead of us for the successful landing and taxi in at uh, Phoenix International Sky Harbor. So this is concluding of a wonderful trip and uh, hopefully uh, this will uh, remain a, a fond memory for many years to come. <laughs>